We all commit mistakes, but some cannot be reversed, even if you want to. You have to face the consequences no matter what. In this video, we will see the craziest reactions of teen convicts getting a life sentence. Number 5. That was 17-year-old Dylan Scheimaker, who beat his girlfriend's 23-month-old son. In the video, we can see Dylan crying and regretting his choice. Also, he is constantly seen apologizing to his lawyer before he starts defending him. His lawyer was trying to justify that Dylan has an anger problem and he didn't mean to kill the 23-month-old baby. He also put forward that Dylan didn't know how to control himself and that all of this happened as an accident as he was inexperienced in babysitting. This took place in Buffalo in the U.S. and juries convicted Dylan of second-degree murder. The judge sentenced him to 15 years to life in prison, which is the maximum punishment in Buffalo. Number 4. If you are watching this video, we can see that it is hard to understand what this kid is saying, but one can know clearly from his actions that he was begging for forgiveness. It's hard to watch. Some people make mistakes, but the mistake he committed is not something we as a society can forgive. Well, that was 17-year-old John Freeman who was apologizing to the victim's family after he strangled a 5-year-old girl to death. This also took place near Buffalo and he was given 25 years to life in prison. And this is for a second-degree murder for which John Freeman pleaded guilty. So when John turns 42 years old, a judge will determine whether or not John is a danger to himself or society. And if he's not, he will be released hopefully as a changed person. Many people have served several years to life who just don't get released from prison. Number 3. Moving on to number 3, we can see a boy crying while awaiting his verdict in court. That was 15-year-old Antonio Barbeau at the time of his trial for killing his great-grandmother in 2012. He was just 13 years old when Antonio and his friend killed her with a hatchet and a hammer, while the great-grandmother was 78 years old, which is just so sickening. Antonio won't be eligible for release until he's 50 years old. In a trial to defend Antonio's verdict, his lawyer said that this punishment was cruel and unusual. Are they kidding? There is no way the lawyer actually said that in court. How does that lawyer even sleep at night trying to get this killer out into the public sooner? The reason why Antonio killed his great-grandmother was for money. How sickening! Number 2. In this next clip, we have an 18-year-old who was sentenced to 20 years in state prison for using a dating app to set up a robbery that resulted in a shootout. In the footage, you can see once the murderer's mother finds out her daughter was just charged and sentenced to 20 years in prison, she freaks out and starts crying while heartbroken. Seeing her mother, the teenager starts to freak out as well. This one's really sad to watch. The teenager was then quickly taken out of the courtroom by police officers and the mother was just left there to sit and cry. She was so heartbroken and anybody would be as well if they just found out that their kid committed a robbery and guns were used, they were sentenced to 20 years in prison. Number 1. In this next clip, we can see this teenager swearing and showing his middle finger to the victim's family. That was TJ Lane, the teenager in front of a judge for sentencing for the school shooting in Ohio in 2012. Lane appeared at his sentencing where he got life in prison wearing a homemade t-shirt with the word killer in black marker. TJ was 17 years old when he shot and killed three students and injured three others. Although he was a minor at the time of the attack, he was tried like an adult who was given three life sentences in prison without parole. Well, there is more to the story. Just a few years after the attack, TJ was able to escape prison. This was just eight days before his birthday and he escaped from Allen Correctional Institution in Ohio with two other inmates. He was able to escape using a makeshift ladder they used it to scale down a fence during recreation hours. Police conducted a nationwide search and told nearby residents to lock their doors. Eventually, both men were captured and TJ was put into a small cell for 23 hours daily. He was waiting for his transfer to a maximum security prison. With that, we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up. For more videos, click on the links you see in the screen. We will come back with more interesting stories. Until then, goodbye.